two-step equations. Um, you are going to be solving the equation for the variable, so you're solving for what's missing. Because it says two-step equations, then you can count on that you are doing two operations to get the variable by itself. Also with two-step equations, I always like to say you do the opposite of what you see. So if you see an addition in front of something to make it go away, you would do a subtraction. Um, if you see a subtraction, then you would add. So you're doing the opposite. Same way with multiplication and division. You do the opposite of what you see. So what I would like for you to start with right now is number one. Go ahead and write number one down on your paper. R over 10 plus 4 equals 5. Write that problem on your paper. R over 10 plus 4 equals 5. So R over 10 you deal with last. So we've got to get rid of that 4. And if I see plus 4, the opposite would be minus 4. So right underneath the 4 you put minus 4 and then likewise over the under the 5 you put minus 4 and draw a line. You should be writing this on your paper please so you know exactly what you have to show me in your homework. All of these you have to show work or it does not count. So you uh, whatever you do on one side of the equal sign you must do on the other side of the equal sign. So 4 minus 4 will cancel out and you bring down below the line from left to right what is left. So r over 10 and 5 minus 4 is 1. So what operation do you see when you have r over 10? What operation is that? Dale? It's division. So the opposite of division means that we are going to, yes, Multiply both sides by 10. So on the left, when you have 10, it's like 10 over 1. And that 10 cancels with the 10 that's in the denominator. We did that on purpose. We wanted it by itself. And that leaves me with r over 1 on the left, which I'm going to write just as r equals 1 times 10 is 10, so r equals 10. Make sure you show your work. Do not just write r equals 10 on that. You would get that not right. That would be counted wrong. Questions on number one. Okay, we're going to skip down now and do number three. So on your paper, write 3p minus 2 equals negative 29. 3p minus 2 equals negative 29. So just like the last time, the variable term, the 3p, will take care of that last. And the 3p minus 2 will deal with the, the minus 2 first. So if I see minus 2, the opposite of that means I'm going to do what? Add, add 2. So you add 2 here and here. And then below the line, from left to right, I have 3p. Those 2's are gone. Equals. Now, Negative 29 plus 2. That means I'm $29 in the hole and I gained 2. What is that, Lindsay? Negative 27. Negative 27. All right, 3P equals negative 27. What operation does 3P imply? That's multiplication, so it's 3 times P. So to undo that, we are going to divide both sides by the number we want to disappear from P. So divide both sides by 3. Now that 3 divided by 3 becomes a 1. It's canceled out, so P is alone, which is our goal. And negative 27 divided by 3 is what? Lindsay. 
negative 9. So P equals negative 9. Questions about number 3. Okay, so generally most two-step equations you add or subtract first and multiply or divide second. Number five, however, is something completely different. Notice how on number five, and that's one you go ahead and write down, it's got the variable with an operation over, so a complete division bar over a number. So k minus 10 over 2. So we can't get in there to that k minus 10 until the 2 is dealt with. So when you have a whole expression over an integer, just like a number 5, you have to do a multiplication first. So on k minus 10 over 2 equals negative 7, you've got to multiply both sides by the 2. Whatever number is in that denominator, that's what you've got to multiply by. And that 2 is over 1, and that way the 2's cancel, leaving me with k minus 10 on the left. Looks much better, much neater. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. And now we're down to the step where we need to get k alone, and it says k minus 10, so what will we do? Add 10. So what happens here now, we write down k, the 10's cancel out, equaling. I'm $14 in the hole, but I've earned 10 today, so negative 4. K equals negative 4. So what I have shown you are the basic equations that you will have to deal with, two-step equations. If the variable term is separate and not over a uh, denominator like number 5, so like 1 and 3, you add or subtract first, multiply or divide last. If you have one like number 5, you have to get rid of that denominator first, so you would multiply before you did anything else. Okay, are there any questions?